I think the Big Bang is what set particles in motion and started the universe. I believe the Big Bang is a conspiracy. I mean, the theory of basically what it is is the universe was this big explosion which formed, which caused the planets, stars, galaxies, all that astrological bodies to form. So, the Big Bang theory is what created the universe. I think the Big Bang Theory is like how the uni people and like scientists and physicists try to say that the universe was formed when there was like an explosion, like a cosmic explosion, which, the, which the, according to them is still going on to this day, which like helps create the stars, the, the, everything we see in the sky, and then yeah. Uh, so the Big Bang is the explosion that created the planets? So, for me, I believe that God created everything and the Big Bang Theory is just the human interpretation of the scientific conjecture. Well, the Big Bang Theory is like when something crashed and like the universe thing happened. But, I mean, no. Jesus did this in seven days and seven nights. It's in the scriptures and it's translated in so many languages that, I mean, scientists are just, they don't know. These are Big Bang Theory. It's a theory of an expanding universe that begins as an infinitely dense and hot medium. Pretty much to simplify it, because that's all I know is a simplified version, is that existence and everything around it was created by a uh, Big Bang. Um, this implies that God does not exist. It implies that everything was created by a, a single moment in time and space and time and space may have been created during the Big Bang Theory, but the reason that this is so controversial is because um, a lot of people believe in God and uh, because they cannot, uh, they cannot take their own lives and they cannot admit that um, they're not being, nothing is being controlled, only not by them. Isn't the Big Bang Theory that one thing that went psh, and then the universe was created? How does the church sees the Big Bang Theory uh, and particularly the creation uh, and I would presume you're referring to the story in Genesis. Um, one of the difficulties with that question is that it, it creates a parallelism between two different genres of investigation. One is that scientific which is more of a historical uh, narration and the other one is the Genesis, the story of Genesis, where uh, it's more of a, a, um, a story about God's involvement uh, in the creation of humanity. And so the church does not really see an opposition between the two because with the Big Bang theory does not necessarily negate the involvement of God in the creation of the world, of the cosmos. Uh, when we look at the Big Bang Theory, we're looking at the creation of something out of something. Whereas in the creation that is being uh, really taught in theology is that it is a creation of creatio ex nihilo, meaning a creation out of nothing. And so when you have these different elements, gases or, or whatnot, that are combined, they are already something. And then you have something else out of that, arising out of that. Whereas in the creation uh, that is uh, being, especially that is being taught in, in, in uh, theology, which really comes from a, a deeper understanding of epistemology, in metaphysics is that it is a creatio ex nihilo, which is prior to the existence of these different elements, these somethings. The Big Bang was the explosion that happened 13.7 billion years ago, which created the universe. The Big Bang is all based on the structure and observations of the universe. 
According to George L. Marcher, he was a scientist who proposed the Big Bang Theory almost 70 years ago, and back in the day, the Big Bang was known as the hypothesis of the primeval atom. So the Big Bang Theory is like buying a show on CBS because at 8.30 and it's about Sheldon and his friends and Leonard. I don't really like Leonard. Not but, that like, one. The science one. The Big Bang Theory. There's a bang? What? Never mind.